I'm Samantha Kong. I'm a global environmental educator, and this is why you should listen to me. How worried are you about the current climate situation right now? I'm really worried about it. That's the reason why I decided to teach the uh, younger gen generation about the environment. I think education is the best way to, um, to, to give back and the best way to actually educate the younger generation about how to conserve the environment. Over the past month, people across different parts of Asia barely saw the sky. Mm -hmm. Do you think society is just simply ignoring messages from Mother Nature has just become the norm? Uh, absolutely not. Um, it actually takes time to really change um, the situation and it takes time for people to, um, to understand why, why is it happening. And I believe like a lot of different countries, a lot of different Asian countries especially, they are trying to do more on regulation. Legislation is the best way to really uh, solve a problem, I think. For example, China, they, really, uh, they do have some action plans on what they're going to do in the future. They are planning on getting more uh, better targets on how to reduce, like, for example, greenhouse gas. Uh, or like PM 2.5. They did have another plan, but it was only for Beijing, um, Hainan and, and, and Tianjin. And now they do have it for um, all cities around China. In your city, Hong Kong, recycling is lacking behind. Why is that compared to the rest of the cosmopolitan cities in the world? The root cause would be education that I could think of. I think like many other countries, like for example, Japan, they kind of like learn, started learning about like how to care about the environment, like the three R's since they were in primary school. What are the three R's? Uh, reduce, recycle and reuse. Okay. Parents are actually our role model. So if our parents do recycle um, at home, like the students will follow. So I think um, it's like a trend or like a norm that the city should be doing, then only everyone will work together on, on the same goal. You are a full-time environmental engineer bit of a double minority mm. and have a book published about this so why do you think it's so hard to sell the ideas of engineering to young girls? I think because they don't understand like what engineers do uh, probably they picture engineers as someone who work on uh, work on site construction site so mm. it's really dirty and stuff but what I think engineering is very different from scientists is that uh, we have a different uh, way of thinking Right. Like, I think that's quite special and unique about engineering because we talk about problem solving. What message do you have for young girls out there who wants to get into this field? Engineering is definitely the field that they should go for because like for myself, uh, we do work on like railway projects in Hong Kong uh, or sustainability projects in Hong Kong. So it's really hands on and to create a better future for our next generation. So it's really the best opportunity. Amazing. Thank you so much for coming in, Samantha. Thank you, Elaine.